Hey everyone, Ravi here. This is my riding haul for this week. So it's not very exciting or anything. There's no need to run. Um, I actually have to burn my bonus cash. I, I know it's kind of sad for me to say that, but I really couldn't make anything work. Stock is low and uh, the deals are just not there. So I really, I even told you guys this in my Ask Again video that I'm gonna probably have to burn $20 and I just wasted it on food. Um, well, I don't wanna call it a waste. I kind of, you know, bought things that I'm gonna consume anyway. So. Yeah, let's talk about some things that are going on with Rite Aid. You guys probably heard there is some sad news where Rite Aid is going to close all of Michigan's Rite Aids as well as Ohio Rite Aids, except for maybe four of them. I don't know, something like that. I'm just going to say they're all going to close <laughs> except for four in that Midwest area. So I'm sorry to those that are going to lose their Rite Aids. And um, uh, yeah, I hope I was able to help you guys with some deals at least and stock up on things. This is just a reminder to probably you guys need to burn your bonus cash. I don't know how long Rite Aid is going to last in your area. People in Facebook and my Telegram group and Instagram all are saying different dates like, oh, there's going to expire at the end of June uh, or sorry, close at the end of June. Then some Rite Aids are going to close end of July and then some are going to close in August. I don't know anything about Midwest Rite Aid so I'm not the expert there but I'm just letting you guys know if you have to burn it you have to burn it if you want to still hang on with Rite Aid uh, for the next two weeks there are earned bonus cash coupons coming but obviously who knows about stock who knows about the liquidation happening in that area I'm I don't know I have all my cards bonus cash expiring next week and it's around $40 on each card which <laughs> which amounts to 80 plus 80 plus 80 so how much is that $240 of bonus cash expiring next week so I I'm gonna just have to burn that if I can't find anything that is gonna be the saddest thing in the world if I can't find anything today I had a hard time burning the bonus cash because you know it's not in my nature you guys know my nature is to always have cheap deals to free deals to moneymaker deals and you know we lost a lot of different things this year so I can't believe I'm saying this, this is a, probably a shock to everyone like Ravi's actually spending all the bonus cash like that now I'll see what I can do next week I'm not holding my head up <laughs> that much i i was actually going to be optimistic and then uh looking at what's going on uh, i think i'm gonna become a pessimistic person <laughs> and yes I, I am sorry that some of people that work at right they're gonna lose their jobs i'm very sorry to hear that but over here this is a uh, my channel and um you guys can talk amongst yourself in the comments if you want to open dialogue but i'm just gonna say i'll try to bring as much deals as i can until I can't go to Rite Aid anymore or do any more deals i know a lot of you want me to go to walgreens you want me to go to cvs it's not probably gonna happen. I honestly, those two drugstores, it's too saturated and I don't think I can bring anything else to the table to be honest with you. I'm not fast enough with those deals and to be honest with you, probably other people will get to the right A, or sorry, get to those drugstores before I do. So unfortunately, it's not, it's not a thing I'm, I wanna do. I don't wanna pay out of pocket. I don't care if I'm rolling my rewards and whatever like that. It's I'm still ending up paying out of pocket every single time. It's going to be taxes. It's just gonna be Walgreens, you know, cash not be able to pay for everything. So. I don't know. I know you guys want me to do those stores. I also was trying to do the, um, what do you call it? The grocery store deals in, you know, in my area, the Northeast area, like ShopRite, Stop and Shop, Acme. Those don't generate enough views. It's not sustainable for me either. And it's, it's draining, to be honest with you. All these stores are just draining me. And I have too much stuff too. So I'm blessed that I'm able to have all this stuff for a few years. And uh, yeah, I don't want to make this a sad post, but I just want to let you guys know that there's things going on. You know, a lot of other stores are still closing, even though they said they're going to slow down, but there are a lot more store closings coming. And the, the stock situation, it looks like some of the stock is just not going to come in because, you know, how, you know, vendors work, how companies work, you know, they just don't, um, you know, want to deal with people in bankruptcy, I guess, you know, it's, it's logical too, at, at a point. All right, so let's see what I did here. All right, so I wasted my, no, Ravi, don't say wasted, say burned bonus cash on food. Velveeta is my go-to snack all the time, so it's a four pack for $7.29, not that exciting. The Lay's, it's two for $5. It's four, two for $5 this week, and it's on the eight ounce and seven ounce ones. All right, a 7.75 to be exact. And uh, I like sour cream and onions, so I picked that up, and then the wavy ones for my dad. And my, uh, $3 off five coupon came off. I couldn't go without using a coupon, guys. Couldn't go without using a coupon. So, there you go. I, how much is this? Five, 10, 12, 50, and then minus three. So it's 9.50 for these bags. I know Walgreens had some kind of glitch going on. And I obviously, I look at the, the post and I'm like, I don't really want to get it. <laughs> Even though it's cheap, cheaper than Rite Aid. It was like, um, 
I think $1.99 for two bags or something like that, but I don't even know if that's still working or not, and I really don't care. I mean, I'm using my Rite Aid bonus cash to pay for all this. You know what, it was all gonna go into, you know, waste if I didn't use them, so. Yeah, that's what is going on there. And then the Cheez-It, I need to add, uh, it was two for $3, so I picked that up. I don't know what this Fanatics thing is, I don't know. Oh, it was three participating products, damn it. Oh, well, if I picked up another one, I could've got $15 for that. I don't know, it's okay. You win some, you lose some. Now you guys know. All right, so that's it. That's all the items I picked up. The Canada Dry is a separate promotion. I'll talk about that in a few. So, oh my God, these motorcycles are so loud. I'm filming outside, that's why, in the car. All right, so my subtotal after the $3 off coupon was $19.79, and that's what I paid in bonus cash. That's how much was expiring this week. Um, I know I said $20, but you know, obviously I round up to make it easier. And yeah, this is not a good sale or anything like that. It's just, I need to spend it. I need to spend it. All right, now the Canada Dry deal. I won um, the Canada Dry sweepstakes, I guess, and um, I won up to $3 off Canada Dry product, zero sugar, and uh, it was a OTC barcode. So I just did that separate because I don't want to confuse the cashier right now. I don't want to give people stress right now. So I just uh, scanned the item, Canada Dry zero sugar. That was qualifying. It was $2.69 and 18 cent tax, which made it $2.87. All right, and then now the next thing is I gave the uh, card, my, my ready card i click no to using bonus cash because i want to pay with the otc barcode i uh, opened my barcode up on my phone the otc barcode and i scanned it and it took 287 i thought i still had to pay the 18 cent in tax but it all covered you know with it, with that uh, otc card so that was great all right so i was able to pay that and um, i got it for free so i'm glad i won that sweepstakes i guess i don't know now the other thing that i noticed on my receipt i didn't notice it um until i actually inspected so if you guys remember when i purchased the china glaze a few weeks ago that that's a monthly deal by the way if you guys didn't know if you can find any china glaze it's buy two get four dollars in bonus cash so definitely look for that clearance all right and i noticed on my receipt that i didn't receive 39 uh ready rewards points i only received 37 so i know that's like not a complaint point i know it's just two points but i wanted to let you guys know that when i was doing the canada dry transaction too i noticed i was supposed to get 29 points but i only got 27 points so now with the right rewards points they will not include your uh tax anymore i think we used to be able to get tax you know points like at 18 cents in tax i would basically get two extra rewards points um you know for that so i know it's just two points but two points can make a difference between 998 to a thousand points so I know a lot of people are losing, you know, th those points as well because you have to buy up to a certain amount in order to get that. Once I do my transactions, once I do my ad scan for next week, I will tell you guys what I'm planning on doing. And uh, I don't even know about the stock situation. I, I, if it, I already took, you know, a walkthrough of the store. It's not looking good. So the next step is just going to go to another store and then uh, just burn it uh, at the other store as well because I know that the other store probably has a little bit more stock. So that's what I'm thinking. All right, so that's all that I have to share. And uh, I'm sorry, this is a long video with nothing in it, really nothing of substance. Uh, I couldn't even find the other, you know, rebate items that I was looking for as well, which is, you know, which sucks. And um, there was also another deal that uh, my friend on my way to coupon shared with me too, which I could not find. I guess someone probably already bought it or it went into the garbage <laughs> because it probably expired. A lot of stuff in this store also expired and I saw um, the supervisor take it into the garbage because, you know, it's expired and they can't return it back or something like that, so. Yeah, I know I'm rambling on. I really don't have that many other people to talk to regarding <laughs> Rite Aid. No one really cares that much. And, you know, I'm also working on cleaning my house. So trying to get you guys that stockpile tour video. If you're up to here, maybe type in the comments below stockpile. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to work on trying to organize my, my basement because, you know, it was a big, big, big mess. And uh, I'm going to be spending a lot of time cleaning up and trying to get you guys, you know, like a nice video out there. Uh, it's not going to be perfect, obviously. No stockpile is perfect, but... If I, you know, after five years of, you know, putting it off, this is my highest point that's ever going to be. And that's it from there. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to be doing Rite Aid as much as I can. I am in the East Coast, so not in the Midwest or the um, West. So I will still be doing deals as long as I can. I'll let you guys always know up-to-date information as soon as I hear from, you know, anyone. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Watch the Ask Can video for next week, June 23rd, when it releases. Bye, everyone. Have a great day great week and I'll talk to you in my next video.